hello it's it's been a while since i made my last tutorial so yeah i guess it's time for me to make a new one uh, i just found this out uh, i'm gonna show you how you can easily create new color corrections and by color corrections i mean this giving different feels to the maps etc uh starter point as a starter point i'm going to use the default dot dds so in case you don't have it i'm going to upload it so I'm going to give the link in the description in the description bar and otherwise you can just get your own anyway hold right click and print screen you will get a nice view of the area that you want to make changes to after that just open photoshop and there we go photoshop is loaded just make a new file this and paste and you will have the screen i'm just gonna crop this out okay so we have our screen now what we're going to use are these adjustments i'm i'm gonna go for something like um uh, dark green brownish like post apocalyptic thing uh, i don't know if, I'll, if i will be able to get it so we'll see Okay, well, this isn't. Ah, it's just a test. So, anyway, uh, what you have to do is go through, navigate to that folder, then. In my case, it's C, or Z, bin, data, shaders, texture, C, C, L, U, T, 3D. This is where the color corrections are. So now just open up default inside Photoshop and this is how it will look like. Okay, I'm going to duplicate all of these layers into the default DDS and there I'm going to get something like this. Now what I want to do is go to File, Save As, Save It As DDS. I'm going to make it Apocalypse, even though it's not. Save. And this is the important part. It has to be DXT1 RGB for BPP, no alpha, no MIP maps, and this is very important. It has to be a volume texture. Not a 2D texture, but a volume texture. Save. And if we go to our War Z now, we can see the Apocalypse DDS. And. This is what we want. Let's see how will people look here. Let's spawn some. And this is the final result of the color correction. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it helped you. Uh, and I'm hoping to see some good color corrections because I've been wondering how to do this for a long time. So remember, use default DDS, screenshot, open in Photoshop. Add your adjustments via this little thing here. Copy, duplicate all of those adjustments to the default DDS and save it as a volume texture, no mid maps, DXT1. Okay, that's that's it for the video. Uh, hope to see you next time.